Hello everyone, welcome to Easy Engineering Classes. We are continuing with our preparation series on Gate Computer Science, UGC Net Computer Science and Bank IT Officer exams. In this preparation series, we solve previous year questions from all these papers and help you in preparing for future exams. So in today's lecture, we'll take up one question from Gate 2015 paper, which is based on computer architecture topic. So the question says, Consider a non-pipelined processor with a clock rate of 2.5 gigahertz and average cycles per instruction of 4. The same processor is upgraded to a pipeline processor with 5 stages but due to the internal pipeline delay, the clock speed is reduced to 2 gigahertz. Assume that there are no stalls in the pipeline the speed up achieved in this pipeline processor is okay so whenever you solve such questions you need to understand between the lines that are that the question says okay so what do i mean by that i mean that when you have been told that it is a 2.5 gigahertz processor what does that mean 2.5 gigahertz processor means that in one second 2.5 giga cycles are completed okay so 2.5 gigahertz processor which is initially a non-pipeline processor all right and this specification this means that in one second how many pipeline how many cycles are completed 2.5 gigahertz okay so in one second 2.5 giga cycles okay <clears throat> now since it is given that an instruction takes four cycles so we'll write this down one instruction takes four cycles to complete okay it takes four cycles to complete and we know that 2.5 giga cycles are completed in one second so one cycle is completed in how many seconds one cycle is completed in 1 by 2.5 giga seconds that is simple unitary method and therefore 4 cycles will be completed in 4 into 1 by 2.5 giga seconds therefore 4 cycles or 1 instruction would be completed in 4 by 2.5 giga seconds all right this was the scenario for the old processor or the non-pipeline processor now when this processor has been converted into a pipeline processor what is the scene see now it is given to you <clears throat> that the processor is 2 gigahertz so the specification is 2 gigahertz which means that in one second, two giga cycles are now completed. So one second. <clears throat> so two giga cycles are completed. All right. And it is also specified that there are no stalls. What does this line mean? This line means that a single instruction only takes one cycle. This is very important. When you are told that there are no stalls in the pipeline, it means that a single instruction which was previously taking four cycles will now take one single cycle. Okay, so this means <coughs> one instruction takes one cycle to complete okay so just like we find found out the time taken by one cycle to complete was 1 by 2.5 gigaseconds in the previous case here the time taken to complete one cycle would be 1 by 2 gigaseconds all right and this would be the time that would be required by a single instruction to complete now what would be the speed up speed up is nothing but the time taken by the uh, old processor which was not pipelined or time taken by a single instruction to complete in the old processor divided by the time taken by the a single instruction to complete in the new processor okay so i can write it as old execution time 
of an instruction we can compare uh, a single instruction in both the cases of an instruction and this would be divided by new execution time of a single instruction again okay so the comparison should be the same so what is the values on the numerator and denominator old execution time initially one instruction was taking four cycles and four cycles needed four by 2.5 gigaseconds to complete so the old execution time was four by 2.5 gigaseconds and the new execution time is one instruction takes one cycle and one cycle takes one by two gigaseconds so the new execution time is one by two gigaseconds so the correct answer here would be 3.2 this is the speed up value that is attained when you calculate uh, the correct answer from here and you find out the procedure in which this uh, question is performed okay so basically by 3.2 times the new pipeline would be uh, uh, there is a difference of 3.2 times between the old pipeline and the uh, new one or the old non-pipeline processor and the new pipeline processor all right so that's all for today's lecture i hope you understood this question please practice more such questions and comment uh, and mention in the comment section below if you have any doubts if you understood this question please like this video and share it with your friends and let us know if you want more such videos in our preparation series Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel of Easy Engineering Classes for more tutorials on computer science related subjects and other subjects in this preparation series. Stay tuned. Good luck.